Good morning all, CamelbackTrading.org coming to you this Monday morning, January 4th. We are looking at the SPY ETFs market profile here on Window Trader. And welcome to 2021. Where right now, it's continuing what we did the last eight months of 2020 as we are looking to gap higher on a monthly gap to all time highs. All three indices looking to gap higher. The difference here with the Russell is, even though it's a gap, it's just a daily gap. It's not even a weekly gap, let alone a monthly gap. But they are looking to gap higher from Friday. Triple Qs, as you can see. Four-day balance, gapping higher. Monthly gap as of now. There's still 75 minutes to go prior to the opening. But looking to gap to all-time highs on the monthly. And the same with the SPY and the ES. Volume only just about 300,000, so light volume so far to start the year. Let's go over destinations and a game plan for the first trading day of the new year. Right now, all three indices are up, right? So 374.66 was Friday's monthly all-time high. We now have 376.74 as our pre-market all-time high from today. For the downside, if we hold this gap, we will use Friday's high of 374.66 as our first downside destination. Then we have our overnight low of 373.84. We had the price probe from Friday, L's high of 373.74. And then remember, three sets of single prints as they exploded Friday after being 10 wide to an all-time high. 373.70. 373.04 is the first set of single prints. It's only one tick in the SPY. And then 372.77 get filled at 64. 372.43 get filled at 33. And then 371.83, our POC from Friday. So game plan for this morning early on. Well, right now the gap is almost $2. I'm sorry, a dollar and a half. I like to see the gap of a dollar or less to have better risk reward to take a long play. Again, we're going to follow what's worked before. So if we're to open, push down, have a gap of a dollar or less, I'll look to take a call play. I would be out if the gap fills and then see what happens inside of M's range to see if the price probe holds. M's range was rather large uh, on Friday. So, I'm sorry, on Thursday. So I would have to see if that gets acceptance. So if I... Took a long play out if the gap fills. If we're to open, push up initially, again, I'd probably take a put play to see if they front run the overnight high. Again, this is a monthly gap. It's the longest of the time frames. It would be nice for long-term uh, long frame uh, buyers to come in. Right now, that doesn't seem to be the case again, but it remains to be seen. And don't forget, don't forget, we have the Georgia runoff tomorrow. So um, it remains to be seen how much enthusiasm they're going to show as the day goes on and see if they uh, try to lighten up a little bit prior to those elections tomorrow. I put out a video yesterday basically um, putting out the structure for CamelbackTrading.org's price and structure going forward starting February 1st. Please check that out. It's a short video. Good luck trading. Have a great day. Start off the year right. And we'll recap at 4 p.m.